Hello, I'm Wally Taylor from Forum Health Austin, and I want to take a few minutes today just to record a short video to demonstrate uh, one of my favorite treatments that I recommend in my environmental medicine practice. And what we're going to be talking about today is um, administration of glutathione by nebulizer. Now, the first thing I wanted to say before I demonstrate that to you is why I think it's so important that we use glutathione in our, in our treatments. It turns out that glutathione is a little three amino acid tripeptide that we mostly make inside of our own bodies. And it's our body's number one master antioxidant. That's the main thing it does. And I believe that virtually all humans these days are actually deficient in glutathione because of the toxicity of our world today. We need a lot more glutathione to handle those toxins than our bodies are able to manufacture or produce because we basically don't make glutathione in our bodies any better than our ancient ancestors did, and they lived in a world that was much less toxic. Now, there's actually several ways that we can get glutathione, uh, but one of the ways that we really don't get very much is by eating it. So that's one of the reasons today I'm gonna demonstrate um, a technique of using a nebulizer and actually breathing a very pure form of glutathione into our lungs as a mist. And then from there, it's very well absorbed from our lungs directly into our bloodstream. And from there, it can go to all the cells of our body, which is really where we need the glutathione to actually be. So in addition to being our master antioxidant, I also need to emphasize that glut glutathione does two other really important functions in the body. First of all, it is very important that we have glutathione in the liver for the purposes of clearing many toxins. It's part of our phase two detox processes of the liver. And then the third thing that's very important requiring glutathione is that it's needed for fully functional immune systems. So many of my patients are dealing with inflammation coming from an immune system that may not be appropriately balanced. So having said that, and by the way, on my Forum Health YouTube channel, I do have a video that talks a little bit more about the importance of glutathione, and I would welcome you to go on and, and take a look at that video as well. So what I'm prepared to do now is I wanted to demonstrate, first of all, the nebulizer that, that I recommend. And we use uh, this one that's called a Shuko. We actually have that for sale in our office, and that is also available for purchase online through the shop forum health uh, supplement store. I think it's a product that if I'm not mistaken, it costs about $40. That comes, the, the unit is, looks like this. And it's basically just a standard electrical nebulizer. And really all a nebulizer is, is it's an air blower. It's a compressor that when you turn it on, it just generates pressure almost like the little uh, blower that you use to uh, filter a fish tank with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we make the solution of glutathione and how we use the nebulizer to administer it. Now, when you buy this nebulizer, it comes with some tubing and a little uh, place that you actually place the solution of glutathione and then they hook together to the nebulizer. In a minute I'm going to do that and then I'm going to demonstrate with my assistant here how we actually to, uh, provide the treatment. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, just show you the glutathione that I use. Now you can get glutathione from different, different sources but uh, glutathione as I said before is three amino acids that are hooked together glycine, cysteine, and glutamate are the three amino acids. The cysteine, which is the middle one, is actually the essential one in, in the sense that it has a single atom of sulfur in that molecule. And it gives the glutathione somewhat of an odd smell. It smells somewhat like um, garlic, which is one of the drawbacks that some people don't, don't prefer that, but most people can tolerate it without any difficulty but it is one of the standard uh, features of glutathione and it's actually the reason that glutathione has its many valuable properties. So I like this bulk supplements brand, Reduced Glutathione or Glutathione Reduced. And I'm not gonna spend much time, but I'll just say that glutathione exists 
in an oxidized and a reduced form, but the one that, that serves the purpose in the body is the reduced form. So that's what we have in this bulk supplements package. Now this is currently available to be purchased through the bulk supplements website. And I think there's some other Amazon uh, marketing places that you can buy it from. But glutathione uh, in the package, it looks like a white powder, much like powdered sugar. And this is absolutely pure, which is very important. This is a synthetic form of glutathione and it has no other contaminants or molecules in there. It's 100% pure reduced glutathione. And that's very important, especially since we're using it by nebulizer. We don't want to put anything in the lungs that might have any tendency to cause any toxicity. Now, also this glutathione is very potent in this form. So a one gram of this powder is also one gram of glutathione. So the treatments that we want to talk about for nebulizer, I like to use a 500 milligram or one half gram treatment, which as it turns out, the way this product is made, that would be one fifth of a teaspoon or one ml or one cc of the powder. So let me just show you. I also have, if I can find it here, I also have a little one fifth teaspoon measuring spoon that I'm gonna to use to measure that out. Here, I'll just let you open that for me. Let me get my, let's see, where did I set my little cup down? Oh, it's in my hand. Here we go, here we go. All right, so you just basically twist this little thing off. And this is, looks like just a little clear plastic cup. And what we can do, oh, excuse me, before we do that, the other thing that we have to do with the powder is we have to dissolve it in one teaspoon or five mLs, five cc's of clean, sterile, normal saline. So we get that in these little one teaspoon uh, containers or vials of sterile saline, which is actually saline that's been uh, designed for use with a nebulizer. And you can order that uh, through this, I like this Adipac uh, unit dose vial. These come in boxes. Be sure to get the 5 ml, one teaspoon, and that's 0.9% normal saline, which is basically what we call uh, saline that has the same concentration as our bodies. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just twist this off, and it, these are single use. You're gonna use the whole amount and you basically just turn it upside down and just squeeze that completely into the little cup. Hopefully we can see that. And I will just say that the glutathione powder dissolves very readily into the saline. Now you could do this in a sterile cup if you wanted to, or a very clean cup, but it also works fine just to, just to do it in the cup like this. And you basically just one, one teaspoon and it's level, excuse me, one fifth teaspoon uh, is the amount that we use. And again, that weighs 500 milligrams, one half gram. And you, I just like to swirl it. And sometimes you have to swirl it for just a minute or two, but you'll see that ultimately after you've swirled it a little bit, it will completely dissolve. And it, then it looks like a colorless solution in there. And as I said before, you can also, if you prefer, you can mix that into a small cup, like I've had patients use a sterile a urine collection cup for that. And as I'm swirling it here, and as I see the powder is dissolving, I can already get that little hint of an odor of somewhat like a garlic smell, which is again, the due to the uh, sulfur that's in the cysteine which is one of the three amino acids in the, in the glutathione. So it's almost completely dissolved now. It's beginning to look like just a colorless solution. So the next thing that I'll do is uh, I'll go ahead and put the cap back on and we'll make sure that it's snug. It's kind of a twist lock type of affair. Now for right now, I'm just holding it uh, in this way and then what we'll do is we get the, the hose that's provided with the nebulizer. And all we have to do is just pop that tube right on there like so. And then um, the other end of it, 
just pops onto the little blower exit on the on the glutathione or on the ne nebulizer. Now, the one that you get from Shuko comes with a pediatric size mask, and that one won't work very well for most of my adult patients. So that one, even though it does come with the kit, we also prefer and recommend that our patients get an adult size mask, which we also have available on our shop form health. I believe the cost on that is somewhere around $5. Again, not expensive. So when you put that on like so, you've got everything you need. You've got your solution of glutathione. It's probably a good idea to try to keep holding it more or less upright. Now, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on so we can see what, what looks like. With the blower on, you can see that a fog comes out. So that's, that's what we're gonna have the patient breathe or that's what she would breathe. So Brenda, we're, we're not gonna make you take the whole treatment here, but why don't you go ahead and uh, put that on over your head and put that on, make that comfortable on your nose and mouth. And then it's, I think it's a good idea here to emphasize that with this mask, uh, the glutathione is gonna be inspired both through Brenda's nose and also through her, her throat as she breathes. Now, um, she'll just be, uh, normally the entire therapy takes approximately five to 10 minutes to administer. And then at the end of that, the, the fluid is gone from the container and the treatment is over. All right. And then by that means, she will go ahead and receive most of that 500 milligram dose of glutathione and then it will be absorbed directly into her bloodstream. So uh, I also, just a couple of other little things. If, if it causes people to feel like it's irritating their throat or even causes up to be short of breath, which sometimes you will see in somebody that has very sensitive lungs, uh, one of the first things I recommend that they could do is just mix two of the vials of the saline with that same one-fifth teaspoon of glutathione so that the solution is only half as concentrated. It takes a little longer to administer the full nebulized treatment in that situation. But that's normally well tolerated and uh, we've seen that the blood levels of glutathione that we get from this uh, are very therapeutic. Um, so and you'll probably hear other providers talk about nebulized glutathione, but in my practice of environmental medicine, I honestly tell my patients that glutathione is the most important nutrient that I think we need to explain to them about helping them recover from chronic illness. And so uh, it, it's something I really wanted to make sure that uh, people were uh, aware of how I like to provide those treatments.